movieweb.com. So in the film, uh, you play a younger version of Robin Wright Penn's mm -hmm. character, and uh, you guys both do your performances so seamlessly. I was wondering, did you really Thank study you. her movements, her behavior to kind of pinpoint, or did you just go straight from the script and create your own character? Um, it was it was a little bit of, of studying her movements and, and, and the way she was portraying uh, Pippa, as well as going from the script. Um, Robin and I didn't have a lot of time to spend together beforehand because I was also shooting Gossip Girl simultaneously. Um, but, uh, you know, it was really about understanding her at the core, at the heart of her, um, because, you know, people are very different from when they're a teenager to when they're an adult. So it was okay for us to be different in certain ways, but um, we tried to get some of our, our physical movements to be the same. Uh, we also talked to Maria, who played our mother, to have um, just some similar, like, nervous tics. Um, but it was really having Rebecca, who wrote such a beautiful character, um, such a well-written character, it was so easy to understand her and understand her core and her heart. And having her uh, at our side the whole way made it very, very easy to play the same person consistently. We just had to trust her, and we both trusted her with all that we had. Yeah. Uh, and you mentioned Rebecca Miller. Um, in some of the more difficult scenes, like maybe Gigi's death or the photo shoot scenes with Kit, mm -hmm. um, was that was there anything that she was able to give you any sort of advice that uh, helped you really gave you good direction in those scenes? Uh, Rebecca was full of incredible direction the whole film. Um, I can't remember any specific thing in the scenes, but you know she wrote such a beautiful script and such great characters that were so easy to understand but on top of that she hired the best actors in the business so um, it was really just like throwing it felt like she was throwing me into that situation sitting there with Monica Bellucci holding a gun to my face and, and putting it in her mouth and the people that were around me and as nervous and terrified as they were it felt real it f I mean when you have a gun pointed in your face and the people around you are freaking out and you didn't see any cameras. I mean, it was like she was. She kept the um, the set very sparse. You know, as few people as possible. Um, it was very easy to to feel like it was real. Yeah. So um, that was she, just the work environment that she created made made it real. The, the love affair between Pippa and Herb is, is mm -hmm. so beautifully, you know, compelled in the film. And so I was just wondering. Um, what do you think that she was looking for when she meets Herb? Like, what do you think the character was really searching for? And what did their relationship together mean to her? Well, Pippa was definitely looking for, for protection, looking for guidance. It was really um, the paternal quality in, in Herb that really attracted her to him because she never had a mother or a father, really. They were there, but uh, her mother just wanted her to love her no matter what and excuse her terrible drug habit or to be her muse. Um, and, you know, she never really had someone who was looking out for her and her best interest. And when she meets Herb, he's a, a man that is a, a guardian. And it's not a sexual partner that she's looking for. I don't think that she, she's still very much a little girl because she never had a parent to raise her. I don't know how the rest of my story will go. I don't know who I'll be in it. I'm just seeing what happens next.